There we go. This is part three, unfortunately, because due to technical reasons. Okay. See if you got a nice little even polish on it. Here's your piece of sand, little brush here. Nice soft bristles. I like paint brushes because of that reason. Dust off the back side. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Okay, there. Roll it off. Take the CPU, lay it down. I just down. Never on the pins. You will break things. Okay, I'm going to take a little piece of sand before we're done here. We're done. Okay, take a little rag, not your terry cloth, and wipe down the mirror. We don't want anything on the mirror. That's big, rough, or anything else like that. You want me to get the tape off? No, it's alright. Leave that alone. We'll just get in between them. Okay, okay. 2,000 grit sandpaper. A little bit of tape. I'm surprised this is working out pretty good. If you want to get the tape off of there before doing this, it's up to you. But That's time's a concern with us right now, so we're just ripping on through things. Yeah. As us Ford fans do. We don't wait for new Camaros to become out, we just make our own. <laughs> okay. Now, you can take your terry cloth now at this time. Kind of wipe it down a little bit if you want. Dust this off a little bit. Okay. Now, we're going to be in a polishing stage. These two fingers. Pay attention to them. See how I hold in the CPU? Now I'm just using the weight of my two fingers on the CPU. And all we're going to do is just go in a small two inch circles. Rotating from two, three inches counterclockwise and clockwise throughout this whole time. May I? Yeah. Two inch circles. Just the weight of your two fingers is all we want. Continue this until we have a nice polish. Okay, pull it up and look at it. Get a nice even polish, grab your paintbrush, dust it off. Dust off the back side. Now we're dust off your piece of sandpaper. Okay, that's good. Let me see the paintbrush. Now we're really starting to make it shine. Make sure it's done. Down. Certainly will. Oh wow, yes. See now we're starting to get a mirror out of the the job here. So we're going to continue on. Two fingers on top of the CPU. Just on the pads. These are the pads where my fingers are held on at. Currently, they're the pads. They're the pads. The fast. The faster we can move it, now go the opposite way. The faster we can move it, the higher the machine will come out. Remember, keep going counterclockwise and clockwise and clockwise and counterclockwise. Keep rotating. We want a perfectly flat surface. Try not to run off on sandpaper. We'll just mark your finish up. That's all we'll do. Okay, let's look at it. Now we've got a nice little bit of a polish out of it. Yeah. See? Beautiful, isn't it? If you want to end it, we can right here, right now. But it's not my way. Okay, go ahead and rip that off. Very carefully. Because this sandpaper is not exactly cheap. So for those that want to lap on the, on the cheap side, yeah, this is not for you. Again, make sure there's nothing on the sandpaper, on the mirror we're using. CPUI test down. Set that down. We're only doing this in case the Danny has issues with the problem with the sandpaper rolling. Yes, I'm left handed and therefore sandpaper doesn't seem to like left handed people. <laughs> it's also a security measure to make sure that you don't slip off and damage the paper or the pro or ruin all your work that you've done. Now, 
2500 grit sandpaper. We're in a finishing stage, two fingers, right on top of the CPU IHS, on the CPU itself. We're just going to go fast and quick. This is just kind of a quick polish. You really don't need to go this fine, but yeah. For those who are hardcore overclockers and obviously are watching this because they got go to the Beyond website, they obviously know Dragon and his level of overclocking. What was it? Uh, four gigahertz on an i7. Uh, four point eight two. I've actually reached four point two on the same CPU. See, and he's just got an i5. He's now torturing. Literally, we can hear it screaming. Oh no! Help me! <laughs> Which is probably breaking a, a being broken in right now. <laughs> and guys, please, you know, by all means, check out Beyond3D.com. It's a good website. This is where my friend is from. This is why he's doing this. Um, fingers crossed, you know. Got to pl plug in some of our friends out there. Now, we look at it. Make sure it gets a real good zoom shot of that. Okie dokie. Sorry about this, guys. But I've got to move the camera down so we can get a good shot. So, I'm just going to go like so and actually bring it down now we got a complete mirror on the CPU hell we can even see the camera in the reflection okay that's a lapped CPU as always grab our paintbrush dust them off and back on the new tripod you go Pull things off. Now, no longer need that. Rub an alcohol and a soft terry cloth. Take a little piece of this. Do this until your heart's content. You want to do it a half a dozen times, then do it a half a dozen times. Make sure it's good and wet. Wipe down the IHS with that thing. And for so those who are wondering, the Windex was just to clean the mirror, not to wet the sandpaper. Wipe down the IHS. Then we're going to rotate on the back side. We're going to have another piece of dry cloth here. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. Now this part you have to be extremely careful. We're going to be rubbing on these pads to make sure our fingerprints and any metal and anything else got off of it. And that grease. Fingers always leave grease. So just kind of stay off on the pads. Lightly hit them with your fingers. There's not a whole lot of weight. We don't have to scrub it. Now, take your can of air. Rubbing alcohol blows really quick. See, now we're clean. No fingerprints. Blow it down. Yep, leave that out. Now, we're going to do this one more time because I'm a paranoid person when it comes to tweaking stuff. And this is a tweak. This is not what you can normally go, oh, hey, Intel, I'd like a lapped processor, please. They'll look at you and laugh. Go here, wipe it down here, wipe it on the pads, make sure we get the pads. Again, we've been putting our fingers all over it. Wipe down this. Take your rag, wipe down the edges here. What we want to do is that's where a lot of dust will accumulate. We want to make sure it stays nice and clean and pretty. Now we got another little add-on we'll throw on this too. Just for you hardcore tweakers like myself. And you're probably thinking, why do this to such a low processor? Well, would you rather waste an i7 that costs you almost $400? Do you really want me to answer that one? Or this one that only costs about, I don't know, $60? Now we're nice and clean. There's nothing on there. Take our, no, go ahead, close. Take our paintbrush again. Dust it off. I'm brutal to everything. Just kind of redust everything off. Make sure it's all good and cleaned. Do the same thing on this side. Make sure we pay attention to the sides. Make sure it's all nice and clean, no metal deals on there. Blow it all off. Now, got that again. Just flip it over. Mirror on the back side's pretty smooth. We're not going to have to worry about it. We got a little piece of leather. CPU. This does not really help on, you know, really do anything. You don't have to go this far. Well, this makes it look real pretty. We're just kind of pretty things up there. Yeah. Why? We don't know. We're just going to put a water block on it, so we'll never get to see it. But the point is, we know we've done it. It's like peeing your pants. You know, everyone laughs, but only you get that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. There's no specific way of doing it on the leather. Leather belt works the best. You can go up and down, side to side. 
Back like around. That. You don't have to go specifically. We're just doing a nice. Oh, just across the butt cheeks. Oops, sorry. Thought you meant to lift the belt. And then all it does just kind of helps polish things up, makes things look really, 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 really pretty. Go ahead and grab your camera. Sure. Yeah. We'll do, a final we'll do another extreme close up for you guys. Because we're just that nice here. Check that out. Oh, snap. And we'll even get a camera shot. Oh, let's see. There you go. We can even see the camera. It's that polished. Holy smokes. Yeah. On average, it takes me anywhere between and 10 and 15 minutes to do that. We've got to stop now because we're almost at time. So, I hope you enjoyed it. That's how you do it. Take care, all. Stay tuned.